Ah, yes. The miracle of childbirth. The magical day when a little gut gopher tunnels its way out of the breathing canal to join us here on this dump. It almost brings a tear to your eye. Or in the case of some Redditors, a tear to your dick. <coughs> yes, this is a video about people who get a little bit too excited about childbirth. That is seriously fucked up. So for this episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at the story of a woman who found out that her own childbirth video was being enjoyed by members of a certain subreddit, despite never having actually uploaded it herself. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a service that I've been using for a while now that you're probably familiar with. With over 5,400 servers in 49 different countries, you can appear almost anywhere in the world, which is great if you're trying to watch all kinds of region-locked media. And NordVPN now has a new feature, Threat Protection. Threat Protection steps up your cybersecurity, rolling out first via NordVPN's desktop app. Once Threat Protection is on, it protects from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads. And Threat Protection is constantly on the lookout regardless of whether or not you're actually connected to the VPN. To get started with NordVPN, just go to nordvpn.com slash wang. You'll get a huge discount on a two-year plan as well as an additional free month. Once again, that's nordvpn.com slash wang. A lot of women's greatest fear is to have their pussies wind up on the internet. Well, imagine all that happening, you know, with a slimy little cranium shoving its way out of it just as up close and personal as you can get for thousands of people to view. Well, that's exactly what happened to a Redditor named Birth Tape Throwaway on r slash relationship advice. The post was entitled, My birth video ended up on a fetish subreddit because of my husband. We're off to a good start. She begins by saying that since her husband uses Reddit, it was very likely that he would see this thread about this topic which she at the time was yet to confront him about. She speaks of what a good husband he's always been and what a great father he's been to their children. So of course, he was very supportive when she said that she wanted to do her second pregnancy a little bit differently. She had a very difficult time with her first childbirth and felt traumatized by her experience at the hospital. So this time around, she wanted to have a home birth. So they got a midwife, and with her husband being a merce, he could lend any assistance if need be. And sure enough, for her, the home birth went a lot better than the birth at the hospital. And they even hired a professional photographer and had the midwife take a video. That recording, of course, was meant to stay private. She saved it on a USB hard drive and locked it away in a chest never to be seen again, unless, you know, for some reason she was feeling sentimental. Every other trace of it had been deleted, or so she thought. Now, many of her friends had uploaded their birth videos to YouTube, and I love knowing that because I said that, some amount of you are immediately just gonna pause this video and go looking for birth videos. But they felt that sharing their videos could help other women be more comfortable with home birth experiences. But she didn't feel the same way about her video. My birth didn't need to be shared with the world. It didn't need to be a teaching moment. It didn't need to exist to make others feel better. After my traumatic first birth, it was mine and I cherished it. And her husband would actually argue with her about this quite a bit. He would say things like, it's such an excellent birth video. It would help out other women. It would help put other women at ease. But at the end of the day, it's her choice whether or not she wants thousands of people to be looking at her vagina. She says no, and he drops it. Years pass, and she doesn't think about it again. Till recently. While browsing a parenting subreddit that she frequented, she noticed a thread about non-consensual birth videos being posted to a fetish subreddit. So she's like, aha, that's exactly why I didn't upload my birth video to YouTube. But she's curious, so she takes a look through this birthing fetish subreddit, and she finds a drive with hundreds of videos. She starts looking through the Google Drive, and she finds her friend's birthing videos, the ones that were uploaded to YouTube. She keeps looking, and then she sees it. Her own birthing video. The one that, you know, was supposed to be locked away in a chest, never to be seen again. And this is how she reacts to this discovery. There's a close-up of, well, everything down there. In a fucking fetish site. My baby taking his first breaths. Me breastfeeding. It doesn't even cut off after the birth. It shows my baby getting weighed and just held. If this is a birth fetish sub, why does it feature so much of just my child? This seems like way more than just a birth fetish thing. I don't even know how to report the video. I reported the post and Reddit says it doesn't violate anything. Now, clearly she didn't upload this video herself. 
and there's only one other person in the world who had access to it. Her husband. Did he upload it to YouTube against her will? Maybe he uploaded it directly to the fetish subreddit. And for that matter, did he also do this with her friend's videos? At this point, she hadn't confronted him about it yet, so she was on Reddit asking people how to broach the subject to her husband about how he probably exposed her vagina to thousands of strangers as well as their child. And she also wanted to see what she could do to get this removed as Reddit had initially rejected her report. Because, you know, they said it didn't violate any policy. Although, as one commenter pointed out, it literally does violate their policy on non-consensual intimate media. And before going directly at the husband, another poster commented, asking if perhaps it was backed up to the cloud without her realizing it, which is a vector that a lot of private images and videos get leaked. But she wasn't connected to the internet at this time, and she had sync turned off specifically for this reason. A few hours later, she updates her main post. Update. Just a quick update. I left and took the kids to my mom's house. I don't know how long we'll be here. I didn't tell my husband anything. I just wanted to get the kids the fuck away from him. Even if he didn't share that video directly with those creeps, I don't want him around them. Three days later, she returns with a brand new post. Now, she knows exactly how that video got there. So after her update, she had taken the kids to her mother's house, didn't even tell her mother why because she was too embarrassed, and she simply told the husband that she needed a break. So he keeps on texting her, asking her what happened, why she left, because this is very clearly out of the blue. And it was finally the next day that she would return home and confront them about it, recording the interaction on her mother's phone just in case things went south. Seeing him so upset about this made her start crying, and then he starts crying, and finally she pulls herself together and shows him something on her phone. The birth video. He knows exactly what this is, and he's like, why are you showing me this? But she doesn't say anything, the video ends and closes out to the Google Drive, the one with hundreds of other birth videos, and then she backs out to the birthing fetish subreddit. It takes him a moment to figure out what exactly she's trying to show him here, but eventually it clicks and he's fuming. He's pacing around yelling about reporting the video, calling the FBI, and meanwhile she's screaming over him, asking him how did it get there to begin with. Eventually everyone stops yelling and there's a lengthy silence, and finally he comes clean. He started crying and told me that he had started a daddy blog a year after our first was born. He posted about being a dad and eventually about his experience with my second pregnancy. He had posted the video on YouTube to link to his blog. He felt like there wasn't enough resources out there for dads regarding pregnancy. He didn't know I didn't want to post it until a week or two after baby was here, and I was so vehement about not posting it and getting it tucked securely away on a USB. It was up for about 10 fucking months before he finally took it down. He was waiting to see if I changed my mind, and was reluctant to remove it because he'd received so many messages from thankful dads about how educational and helpful his blog slash vlogging was. I had zero knowledge about this blog. I didn't even know people blogged anymore. We had both expressed many times how we didn't want to create a massive digital footprint for our children because of situations just like fucking this. So I this is such a fucking weird surprise. There's hundreds of pictures of our family on this thing. And now despite all this, he responds by saying that she was overreacting about not wanting the video uploaded. Which to me, I don't know, like if if you find out that a collection of the biggest freaks on the internet are jerking off to a video of your child in your wife's vagina, I, I would think a normal person would be like, you know, maybe I had a point. She continues the post by saying that she has plans to consult a lawyer, but she's not really sure what she wants to do about it. She has nobody to talk to about it because he's the person that she would have spoke to about it and she's divorcing him. She's not sure if she should or even wants to call the police, and she's not sure if he should be allowed to ever see their children again. And also, how the fuck does she explain this to the rest of her family? She concludes, The most special moment of my life is now just this fucking smear of shit, all because I decided to try and capture it for memory's sake. Something that was supposed to bring me unending joy now leaves me weeping. I keep looking at my sweet toddler and just breaking down. He didn't deserve this. I wish I could go back and never have recorded that video. I took my USB and fucking smashed it into a million pieces, just to feel like I did something. I'm tired. There's not going to be another update for a while. I am in a very dark place. As of now, the fetish subreddit as well as the one that was made to replace it have been banned. And all it took was, you know, the post to go massively viral after Reddit initially said, eh, this is actually fine. But for now, that's the story of the woman who had her birthing video uploaded to a fetish subreddit.
If you like this video, check out my video about the man who made tacos out of his foot and fed it to his friends. I'm out. Once again, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, NordVPN.com slash Wang. Sign up for Nord and start protecting yourself online risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee. That's NordVPN.com slash Wang or click the link in the description below.